Globally, 71% of oceanic shark and ray populations have been wiped out in the last half century. Some shark species are threatened with extinction based on research conducted by the International Union for Conservation of Nature. In South Africa, sightings of the apex predator, the great white, has been on the decline. The species has been protected in South Africa since 1991. Marine scientists say conserving the great white is vital because they play a pivotal role in marine ecosystems and help maintain the health and balance of the marine food chain. The ocean predators can live for longer than 70 years. Experts have found that the decline is primarily due to overfishing. But another possibility for the disappearance of the great white is that they could be on the run from even bigger predators. Carcasses have been found with evidence that they were hunted by orcas. Orcas are not just targeting white sharks like the whole animal. They're targeting only the livers of the white sharks. Because when we find trying to dissect the sharks, there's no liver. So it means they're only targeting the, the livers. And then the research states that it's because the shark liver of a white shark is rich in terms of nutrients. So it's going to keep the orcas full for a long time, of, for a long period of time, so that they can go hunting with a full stomach. In the warmer waters of KwaZulu-Natal, marine scientists say other shark species are stable. Most prevalent are the ragged tooth, dusty, tiger and bull sharks. There are declines uh, globally and these declines are caused by overfishing, habitat uh, loss and climate change. However, they are in response to the declines. Uh, there are measures in place like here in KZN Sharks, but what do we do? We release uh, live animals, we remove nets during a uh, sudden run and wind migration, trying to mitigate the number of catches that we, the number of sharks that we catch. And interestingly, our data here in KZN show, suggests that um, shark nets have a minimal impact on the local populations of shark species. So it goes back to what you have said before, like sharks are declining, white sharks are declining in Cape Town waters, but here we haven't experienced something like that. Environmental factors like water temperature, climate, ocean acidity and food availability further influence their movement. There are concerns around that because warm, warm waters, they have an impact on the species, age, sex, where do they mate and their necessary grounds. And let me say that shark species have a wide range of movement patterns which may be affected by climate change. They might shift their movement patterns and their fitting strategies in order to adapt to the, con to the, to, to the um, conducive environments that they are faced with. So um, it may end up we might catch species that we have not been catching before. Sharks have been recorded to have been around for millions of years, but the species are increasingly under threat from human activity. It's estimated that over 100 million sharks are killed by fisheries each year. For SABC News, I'm Jade Paulser in Durban.